Hi, and welcome back to another video on electronic science. Today we're going to be introducing you to some high voltage experiments. But please note that most of the projects that I've done here on the channel so far are projects that you can do at home. But these projects are something that you should not try at home. I'm not responsible for your actions. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone, so to start off with our high voltage experiments, we're going to be starting off with a microwave oven transformer. And for those of you who don't know what these microwave transformers are, you can basically salvage them out of an old microwave. And if you don't have to happen to have an, uh, an old microwave, uh, you can get them from thrift stores from pretty cheap, or you can get them, you know, from a local, I guess you could say, dump uh, for free, things like that. Wherever you can find, you know, basically old microwaves that people aren't using get it and take it home, take it apart, and the transformer will look a little something like this. Let me disconnect it from all the alligator clip wires. It'll look a little something like this. Uh, you have the primary winding right here where the 120 volts of AC comes in on these tabs right here. And uh, the secondary winding, which you can't see because it's protected with a coating, like a plastic paper coating, uh, outputs about 2,500 volts and a very high current. Uh, but there's also different transformers you can get, like this one, for example. This is, uh, if you have happen to know somebody who um, can, has access to high voltage transformers, for example, this one is about a 14,000 volt transformer. You can see I put a little danger high voltage sign on it, versus this one's only about 2,500 volts, but this one's a lower current. So depending on what you're going to be doing with your transformers, each of them may have a, you know, a pro or a con to them, I guess you could say. Uh, so this one's very high voltage, but we're not going to be talking about this one in today's video. Or you can even get this old uh, furnace ignition transformer right here that has an iron core. It's very, very heavy. This one right here, which I made a Jacob slider out of. Uh, this one's about 10,000 volts of electricity power there. Let me put this back. So yes, got to be very careful when you're uh, doing high voltage, but for right now, we're going on the low volt, lower voltages, but higher current today, which in my opinion is a lot more fun. Uh, so there's two different ways, uh, or I guess you could say two different ways you can, uh, yeah, you can operate these microwave transformers. One of them is using this high voltage capacitor, which can store around 2,100 volts in uh, this specific capacitor's case. So if you do not properly discharge this and you do touch the terminals, you will die. And I mean, you will die. So you need to make sure you know what you're doing. If you are going to be using the capacitor, you need to know how to discharge them safely without killing yourself. And the uh, transformer, well, don't touch that either because it will kill you, uh, but it doesn't store any charge. So once you turn off mains voltage from it, uh, you will be totally safe. So we're gonna be showing you those two methods today. And we're just gonna basically just be playing around with some high voltage. So let's get started. So here's a transformer. And the way these things work, these microwave capa or not capacitors, these microwave transformers specifically work, is the high voltage is between the body of the transformer, so this whole iron sheet thing around the wires, and this little tab, oh, wrong side, right here, this little tab right here. And that's the 2 kV output, and this is ground on the tra uh, transformer. And so uh, when you touch the two together, you will get the cool electrical arc that in my opinion looks beautiful uh so you can do this in one of two ways you could take an alligator clip coming out of this tab and touch it to the transformer and that'll work just fine or if you want to get a little bit of a bigger arc and you don't want to destroy your transformer you take you uh take some sandpaper and get rid of that sharpie there and you rub off the coating on the transformer on the bottom and you can take an alligator clip and run that out and take an alligator clip the tab and run that out and then or not an alligator clip i suggest actually using a something called a chicken stick which i have right here it's basically just a wire it doesn't have to be an alligator clip uh connected to a pvc pipe and the pvc pipe is basically a plastic and plastic is an insulator and so this will protect you from the high voltage you can't i wouldn't use wood i mean you can use wood but if it's wet it won't work it will shock you and uh, glass would work as well because glass is technically an insulator, but who uh, wants to use glass 
because if they drop it, it could break. So PVC pipe is the way to go when you're making a chicken stick. This is about a foot and a half long, so I am well far away from the arcs because they can jump because it is high voltage and that's basically why you have danger high voltage signs like that one right there. So you, I, what I do and what I suggest is connecting your chicken stick one end to the terminal right here and then connecting ground and putting it somewhere on your table. What I'll do is I'll take an alligator clip and clamp it to here with a clamp and then just touch them like this and make the arcs. Um, and this is unballasted, so this will get very hot, this transformer, you need to note that. I would not run it for more than two minutes or it'll start to smoke and you don't want it to burn out. These transformers are precious and they're starting to get replaced with inverter microwave models, which don't have these transformers in them. So you definitely want to be careful with that. And then we'll also be showcasing this little high voltage capacitor that you can put in parallel to the output of this transformer and get double the voltage because this is something called a voltage doubler, uh, but it will limit the current a lot, but it still gives you a really cool effect. So we'll be looking at that shortly as well. And so the way a transformer works is you have two coils. You have a primary and a secondary. So the primary is just a bunch of thick wires, a little bit, right? wound and that's where you put in your input in this case it's mains voltage which is 120 volts of ac in my area and then the secondary which is um a lot more winding a very thin copper wire that goes to the output here in the body and that's where the 2500 volts of uh voltage i guess you could say comes out and then these right here these wires you can ignore them or even cut them off uh when you're getting your microwave transformer because this is just a low voltage coil that runs the magnetron which is right here and that is what cooks your food but usually in microwaves that go bad these magnetrons are the thing that goes bad or the capacitor i got lucky and it was the magnetron failure uh, so it's usually not the transformer. So the microwave does not have to be working if you want to do this experiment at home. Please be careful and do not use the connections that you are using on these two tabs um, on the transformer that I am doing. Use proper connections because if you short it, you will have a bad day. I'm what you call, what you call a professional idiot. <laughs> but anyhow, so let's get started with making some arcs, everyone. Alrighty then, everybody. So what we're going to do here is I have these black alligator clips. And this is going to act as the ground of the transformer. And as we went over earlier, the ground is the body of the transformer. And then I have my chicken stick right here that we went over earlier. This is what protects you from the high voltage from touching you. And I'm going to be connecting this to the 2 kilovolt output tab of the uh, transformer. And if you guys don't know what that is, 2 kilovolts is 2,000 volts. I did not go over that in the beginning. But 2 kilovolts is easier the, to say than 2,000 volts. So just to go over that. Now... Another layer of protection that is optional is I have this piece of wire right here with insulation. If you don't want to destroy your alligator clips and you're limited on your alligator clip supply like me, I would just connect that to here like that. So then you get that contact going like that. So then you can just arc it off of the uh, wire. And then I'm going to connect these old alligator clips to here. These I don't really care about. They are completely destroyed and they mean pretty much nothing to me. So now I'm going to plug it into mains right here. And as we went over now, this is unballasted. So this is going to be around 2,500 volts at about half an amp. And 2,500 volts at half an amp makes some huge arcs. Now, uh, I don't want to run this for very long because like I said... These transformers get very hot very fast because there's no ballast. So, uh, and a ballast is what limits the current. So there's really very little current limiting in a transformer like this. So we're going to make this one quick, but let's see what kind of arcs we can make. So we're live. And if we arc these together. make some huge oh gosh Whew. oh god I just burned my alligator clips to a charcoal Whew. It smells pretty bad <laughs> all right let's disconnect everything so now you're safe you can touch the transformer nothing holds charge like I went over wow these are hot as heck Whew. yeah uh even though the arc is really high voltage you also got to keep in mind that uh after the the aftermath is just hot metal I've even had wires melt uh, so you got to be very careful when you're doing these experiments. But uh, so that's what you can create 
uh, <laughs> with these with this transformer uh, just by shorting the contacts together. Now there are many other projects you can do with the transformer like this, like you can do wood burning projects and stuff like that, but I'm not going to be showing you that in today's video. Today I just want to introduce you to the high voltage of these microwave transformers. So now let's check out some uh, things that we can do with this little high voltage capacitor here in parallel to the output of this transformer. All right, so now that you've seen the, uh, I guess you could say the fun stuff with the transformer, let's get rid of this setup here. Uh, let's start going off with the capacitor. So we won't need this wire or anything like that. Now with the capacitor, uh, there's the way it works is you have the input right here and the output is uh, with, with this tab. And then right here is the diode. It's like a bleed resistor. Uh, that's basically its purpose to discharge the capacitor over time, but it won't discharge instantly. Uh, so that's why you would never touch this after you use it. You want to make sure that you properly discharge it by touching this end and this end with an alligator clip like this. So you go like that and go like that. And that is how you properly discharge one of these capacitors. So the way you're going to hook up this capacitor is to the, sorry about that, my little tweezers dropped here, to the 2 kilovolt output, output tab of the transformer itself. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take a alligator clip switch. I don't have any else. So let me take out these black ones for right now, right? And you're going to connect the 2 kilovolt output to this tab right here, the tab to this side of the capacitor. And that's all you need to do on that side. Then, what you're gonna wanna do is take another set of alligator clips and put it on the tab on the other side that's next to the diode, the high voltage diode. And then, you're gonna wanna take a third pair of alligator clips and you're gonna wanna connect the diode to ground and the body of the transformer's ground as we went over earlier. So, you're gonna connect anywhere with that diode, and uh, make sure you also connect the diode to the body of the capacitor. It will ensure that it discharges it to some extent, and then also just connect that to ground. But you will discharge it later uh, on the transformer. Now, the grounding is optional. If you don't wanna do that, that's fine. Um, you just have to make sure you discharge it because uh, then there is a guarantee that it will stay charged. So now your output is going to be between this alligator clip and the body of the transformer. And you're gonna get like a little spark because even though this is technically a voltage doubler, this capacitor is a voltage doubler, there's not a lot of current. It really limits the current coming out of this thing. So you technically lose a lot of power, uh, but it gives you about 4,000 volts instead of 2,000 volts. So there's pros and cons to this. So let's check that out. So here I've grabbed my chicken stick, which is, again, the PVC pipe with the alligator clip, and I'm going to connect it to the ground of the transformer because, like I said, the 2 kilovolt output is going to be out of the capacitor. So I'm just going to connect it over here to this ground because this is the part where I sanded the transformer so that we get a good connection. I'm going to take mains, put it in here. Now it's not on right now because I have the breaker off, but um, let me make sure angling is okay on the camera should be all right let's turn on the transformer and now it's live you can see when we short it you can see the pulses of electricity coming out of that capacitor now, even though there's not a lot of current here it's double the voltage pretty neat. And as I said earlier, um, please do not run this for very long because as I said earlier, this will eventually heat up the transformer and they can burn out because these are ballasted. So definitely be careful when you're doing that. But now we're safe. Now do not touch anything because I almost forgot. You gotta discharge the capacitor by touching it like this. I heard, I don't know if you heard it, but there's a little tiny spark, you might have saw it. And then, to further ensure that we have indeed discharged the capacitor, what I'm going to do is take this output right here and touch it to this side. 
Now we should be safe. Disconnect this. And I have OCD now, not really, but sometimes I feel like I do. I just really want to make sure that that is discharged. Okay. And as you can see, I can touch it now and nothing happens. So we are safe to start tinkering with our things now. So yes, you just must do that when you are done. In case you're wondering, the body of the capacitor should not shock you. It's these tabs that will shock you if you were to stick your fingers in there. But still, it could because technically it's metal. So by definition, if something was touching, it could kill you and shock you and whatnot, the body. So yeah, just discharge it before you even go near the capacitor. So yeah. So in conclusion today that, you know, these transformers are really neat and you can do some really cool projects with them. But please, please do not do this project at home because like I said in the beginning, a lot of the videos that I've uploaded on this channel so far are stuff that you can do at home. I really do not advise that you do this at home unless you know what you're doing or you have someone that knows what they're doing and they can be there to help you out. Unless, you know, you, you know what you're doing, please do not do this. I'm not responsible for your actions. But anyhow, this is really cool with the capacitor and the transformer. I'm hoping to get a second transformer from a microwave to wire them in series so that I can get four kilovolts out of it, which is 4,000 volts, four and a half thousand volts, something like that. Or I can even wire them in parallel and get double the current. So about an amp at 2,500 volts, which would be huge arcs. Or I might even get like five of these and put some of them in parallel, some of them in series. Or you can even put like five of these capacitors in parallel to one transformer. You can get some pretty big arcs that were way bigger than that little puny little arc that we got earlier. So there's definitely more high voltage projects in the future. Jacob's Ladders, things like that. So I'd like, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a like on this video. And please subscribe to the channel as it helps us out a ton. Make sure you share this video so that um, it gets spread around and so that, you know, our channel is known. And uh, well, I would like to thank you guys for watching. This is Electronic Science, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.